Okay, so we're back from our hike here and we're uh, ready to take that track that we saved on our uh, GPS unit and load it onto our computer. So we connected the GPS to the computer with our USB cable here, turned the unit on, and we're going to go ahead and open the uh, Garmin software program uh, Map Source so we can uh, view our track in uh, Map Source. Once that program is open, we're going to go to the top menu bar here and this icon at the top that says receive from device, we'll click that. It'll bring up this dialog box and our uh, GPS device, if it's turned on and connected, it should appear right here. So we'll just select all the things we want to transfer from the device. In this case, we just want to transfer the uh, track that we made. So we'll check the box that says tracks and click receive. And it will say the data was successfully received. Click OK. And then over here on the left, we'll be able to see um, the, the track and any other tracks that we had on there. We'll see um, in this box on the left. So to view it on the map, we can just uh, click on it and it'll be highlighted on the map there. Once we've opened the track and map source and have viewed it, we can also edit it to make any changes we want. We can uh, erase parts of the track, draw additions to the track, join it with another track, or divide the track into two separate tracks. Once we've got the, the track um, ready to uh, the way we want it for sharing on the internet, we're going to go ahead and save it as a uh, GPS exchange format file. So we go up to File, um, click on Save, and it'll bring up the Save As dialog box. We put in whatever name we want for the file, select the location on our hard drive where we want to save it, and then the important part, we uh, click on Save As Type, and we want to save it as a GPS exchange format file. The default option will be a Garmin GPS database version file, but we want to save it as a GPS exchange format or GPX file. So we'll click on that and hit save, and then uh, we'll be ready for the next step. Once we're ready to share our GPX file on the internet, you can go to takeahikegps.com and click on the Handheld GPS Trip Planning Center on your uh, left navigation bar. There'll be links to a number of different sites where you can share your trip. One of my favorites is the first one, trailheadfinder.com. We'll go ahead and click on that one and it'll bring up that site here. We have two options at this point. If we're adding a new, completely new hike to the uh, site, one that hasn't been posted yet, we'll click uh, on the top of the screen here. Or we can also search for an existing hike that we just want to add the GPS track to. Maybe there's a hike on post on the site, but no one's added a GPS uh, track for it yet. So we can do either of those things. In this case, our hike uh, has already been posted, so we can find it by uh, typing in the name of uh, the hike or the you know the area it's in and doing a search for it and it'll come up here flat top at the top we'll go to the maps and gps tab here click on that and go down to the bottom of the screen where it says gps track download and uh, on, on the right where it says upload a gps track We'll uh, click on that and it will ask us to uh, put in the file name from our uh, hard drive where the track is located or we can just click on the browse button. We'll go ahead and find that file on our hard drive where we saved it to, open it, and then click the upload GPS track button. We'll also have to uh, put in the trail distance multiplied by 10 here uh, for the spam protection and then go ahead and click the upload GPS track button. And at that point we'll be able to 
view the uh, GPS track we just uploaded on the uh, hike description. And anyone else who comes along and uh, is looking to do this hike will also be able to do the same and uh, download it so that they can have all that information.